So when you grew up uh, in California and then you got, did your father train you when you got in the business? Yeah, yeah. He trained me for sure. My Uncle Mondo had a big deal. Okay, because you know. he was actually had a school. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My Uncle Mondo for sure. My um, my real training, my hands-on was you know living with Eddie and, and going to WCW. Because you came into WCW pretty early in your career, right? You I, hadn't wrestled much. I probably only had 10 matches. See, but you had the the instincts just from growing up in the family. Yeah, I could always do all the moves. I didn't know why I was yeah, doing them. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? But I, I could do them as long as I had somebody that would kind of tell me why I was doing them. But, mm-hmm. you know, I grew up with a wrestling ring, so I could always do backflips and hurricanranas and, and all that kind of stuff. But I, I just didn't know why I was doing them. Right, where to put them. Yeah, sure. Well, and I, like I said, right from the start in, in WCW, when I got there, you had some good skills. And then you you started much like Eddie and much like all of us, when you started figuring out your personality. I mean, you're, right. you're a totally charismatic, funny guy. But when you first start, you don't know what the hell's going on. It's kind of That's like right. it's all of us. Yeah. When you started kind of opening the door, and they, they, I, th- I felt that Terry Taylor was really good for, for our, our gang. He understood a little bit more about what we could bring to the table than Sullivan did, Kevin Sullivan, who was the booker when I started see, there. See, you see a different story, a different side of Terry. I went, and this is the, how I grew up in the business. You know, you grew up coming in, you know, fr- first of all, I don't know how somebody comes, gets into wrestling without growing up in it because it's such an art form. It's mm-hmm, so hard to mm-hmm. learn, you know, for you guys to learn on, you know, by yourselves, really, mm-hmm. no one really teaching you. That's pretty incredible. But with me, I came in and I got two kinds of, of the guys that had been around for a long time. There's two of two kinds that, that, that were there. There were the kinds that were my dad's, my family's friends that would take care of me. And there was the guys that really didn't like my family that would try to bury Take me. it out on you. And Terry was one of those guys. You know, I remember this guy, he was trying to help me, but he wouldn't, you know, I, I mm. this is, here's a story. So my, um, this is why, you know, I didn't get liked a lot. You know, I had, I had, <laughs> I had a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, bridges to, to yeah, cross, you yeah. know? So my, uh, my dad and my uncle Hector are wrestling for, uh, Bill Watts mm-hmm. in, uh, they were in Houston at the time and Terry was the helping booking, you know, mm-hmm. Terry, Terry was the helping booking. Well, he told my, uh, uncle Hector and my, my, my dad that, like, Hey, you guys have to, um, you know, do a job. To somebody you guys have to lose to somebody. And they're right. like, no, nah, we're not going to, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not going to do that. And Terry's like, you have to. He said, oh, well, we're not going to do that. that. That's stupid. We're not going to do that. Tell us why. Well, because I said, <laughs> and my dad and, and, and Hector are like, well, you're, who are you? What do you mean? You're your assistant booker. And you're going to tell us. They're like, well, Terry goes, if you don't do it, you're fired. So they're like, all right. Hey, guys. To the whole, and he did, this is right in front of you know, all the boys in the locker room. Said, okay, I guess Terry said we're fired. Okay, we'll see you guys later. So they walked out. They call up Bill, Bill Watts, the, the, the booker, the owner the of the boss. Company, the boss, and goes, hey, uh, Terry just fired us. And Bill's like, you guys aren't fired. Terry can't fire. Just come back tomorrow. Okay, so my dad and Hector come, come back the next day. And in front of, you know, the boys and Terry's there and everybody, they start doing the dance like, uh, hey, guys, we're back. Terry can't fire us. And they're going back and forth, back and forth to each other, like ring, ring around the rosary. Yeah, 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 we're not fired. We, you, have no, you have no power. You're not the booker. You're not as big as you think you are. So no wonder the guy hated me. You <laughs> yeah, know what right, I mean? Right, I, mean, I was just chance. some kid walking in. I was just this young uh, guy, you like know. They will take it out on him Yeah, now. but I saw it, you know, time and time again. I got the guys that took care of me, that really looked out for me, like Tonga and, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, Haku. Haku, yeah. Um, and all those kind of guys. You know that that you know Stan Hansen and all those guys that were were you know this huge in the business mm-hmm. that took care of me and then I saw the guys that you know that, that would want to bury me and would kill me. Yeah. It's, I remember when Bret Hart came into WCW, Terry came in one day and was giving him a finish or something. Yeah. And when he left the room, Bret was kind of sitting there like confused. He's like, "Wait a second." You mean to tell me the Red Rooster is calling the shots now? Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> but and nothing, I mean, <laughs> and nothing against Terry. Terry. No, no, Terry, good guy. Yeah, good, good guy. guy. Get along with this. It's just a story we're, we're telling in there. Sure, of course. Good I mean, guy, you know. and, and then, yeah. you know, I can see why sure. that animosity would come. The sins sure. of the father, right? Absolutely. You man. know, and especially when, like we were talking about, I, I didn't finish my thought about the Indian caste system. We were with, in our gang, and it was almost like high school. If you sat down in catering with somebody like the Hogan's, yeah. they would almost like get up and walk away. So it, you, we, we were really they on would. our own. Yeah. There wasn't like a, a group of veterans. Right. I remember like Arn was was pretty cool and Jimmy Hart was cool yeah. but that's about it yeah. from, from what I can remember yeah. as far as the yeah. guys that would actually help you there Kurt yeah. Henning yeah we, so we got we saw what was cool we saw the, the Hennings the Nords and all those guys they didn't they didn't believe in the hype they just wanted to hang out and party with you yeah, and, you know right. we, we could bring in the young bitches you know <laughs> so so they wanted us to bring in the young chicks and hang out with us you know and take and us out and hang out with